Hello and welcome to Engineers Mindset. So in this video, we are going to be looking at interplanar spacing for FCC plane. Now let's consider this question on the board to explain this concept. The question says, calculate the interplanar spacing between the following FCC structure with planes 111-220 and 101 having atomic radius of 0.152 Armstrong unit. So you're giving radius to be equal to 0.152 Armstrong units. What then is interplanar spacing? The interplanar spacing between crystal structures HKL is given simply as the lattice constant divided by square root of H squared plus K squared plus L R squared where H, K and L indicate the Miller indices. Now, what then is the relationship between the lattice constant and the atomic radius for phased center cubic structure? Now, for FCC, for the FCC structure, A is always taken as 2 arrow multiplied by root 2. So always keep this in mind, for the phased center cubic structure, A is always equal to 2 arrow root 2. Now we are giving the atomic radius to be this, therefore we can find our lattice constant A to be equal to 2 times the radius itself is 0.152 Armstrong unit multiplied by square root of 2. So this simply implies that our lattice constant is now going to be, now let's multiply everything together, 2 multiply 0.152 multiply square root of 2. So that gives us approximately 0.43 Armstrong units. So our lattice constant is simply 0.43 Armstrong units. Now let's consider each of the planes. We'll start with plane 111. For plane 111, this simply implies that H is equal to 1, K is equal to 1, and L equals 1. Therefore, the interplanar spacing D of 1, 1, 1 becomes, remember we said the, at the lattice constant divided by this square root. So lattice constant value gives us 0 0.43. So we have 0 0.43 all over the square root of H squared and H is 1. So we have 1 squared plus K squared and K is 1. So we have 1 squared plus L squared and L is also 1, you have 1 squared. So the interplanar spacing between 1, 1, 1 plane is going to be equal to 0 0.43 Armstrong units all over. This becomes the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared gives us 3. Okay, so we are going to have the interplanar spacing for the 1, 1, 1 plane be, to be 0 0.43 Armstrong unit all over. Let's find the square root of 3. That gives us 1.7321. So this simply implies that the interplanar spacing for the 1, 1, 1 plane is now going to be equal to, let's find 0 0.43 divides 1.7321. That gives us 0 0.2483 Armstrong units. So this becomes the interplanar spacing for FCC plane 111. Okay, let's try the next the next plane. The next plane is plane 220. So for plane 220, this simply implies that H is equal to 2, K is equal to 2, and L is equal to 0. Therefore, the interplanar spacing for 2, 2, 0 is equal to, remember, the formula remains lattice constant divided by the square root of this. Now, the lattice constant does not change since it is one atomic radius that was given for all the questions. So, it remains the same. The value is, the value is 0 0.43 Armstrong units. So, we have 0 0.43 Armstrong units divided by the square root of, so we have H squared, which is 2 squared plus K squared which is 2 squared plus L squared, which is 0 squared. Okay, 
So in a planar spacing for two two zero plane remains zero point four three all over the square root of okay Armstrong unit. Now two squared is four plus two squared is also four. Zero squared remains zero that's off. So this is going to be equal to zero point four three Armstrong unit all over four plus four is eight. So I have root eight. So the interplanar spacing for two two zero plane is now going to be zero point four three Armstrong unit all over. Let's find the square root of eight. That gives us two point eight two eight four. Now we find 0 0.43 divided by that answer. This simply implies that the interplanar spacing for 2 to 0 plane is equal to 0 0.43 divided 2.8284. That gives us 0 0.1520 Armstrong units. Okay, so this becomes the interplanar spacing for the 2 to 0 plane. Finally, we consider the last plane which is the 101 plane. So for the plane 101, this simply implies H is equal to 1, you have K to be equal to 0, and you have L to be equal to 1. Therefore, interplanar distance or spacing between 101 is now equal to, remember the formula A, and A remains 0 0.43 Armstrong units, so you have 0 0.43 Armstrong units all over the square root of h squared and h is 1. That is 1 squared plus k squared and k is 0. That is 0 squared plus l squared and l is 1. That is 1 squared. So d of 101 is equal to 0 0.43 Armstrong units all over the square root of 1 squared remains 1 plus 0 squared is off that 0 plus 1 squared as 1 so this is equal to 0 0.43 Armstrong unit all over the square root of 1 plus 1 that is 2 so the interplanar spacing between the 101 plane is now equal to you have 0 0.43 Armstrong unit divided by square root of 2 gives us 1.41 Four two. Now let's find 0 0.43 divides 1.4142. This simply implies d of 101 is equal to 0 0.43 divided by that answer. That gives us approximately 0 0.3041 Armstrong units. All right, guys. So that's how you find the interplanar spacing for FCC structure given different planes and atomic radius. I hope you find this video very interesting and helpful. In the next video, we are going to be looking at planar density for FCC structure and BCC structure. I hope to see you in that video. Do well to like this video, share to your friends, comment nicely, and if you are new to the channel, do well to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to always receive updates whenever our videos drop. I will see you in the next video. Thanks.